Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of November, so stick around. So I was able to log 30 films during the month of November. Saw a lot of great ones. Um, I saw a few streaming movies. I saw a streaming show that I logged and some Criterion releases, some new releases. So I had a lot of great different titles, some not so great. So I thought I would go over all of the titles that I watched. I am going to be using my Letterboxd account. So if you'd like to follow along, I do have the link down below if you'd like to check those out. But first up, I watched One False Move. I really enjoyed this one. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Um, it does have Bill Paxton in it, Cinda Williams, Billy Bob Thornton. I really enjoyed the story. Um, really great um, crime type thriller, but kind of comedic. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Great performances. I had never seen this one before. Highly recommend you check this one out. Next up, I watched They Live By Night, which is another Criterion release. Really enjoyed this one. This right here, of course, is an older um, film. Um, again, about some criminal activity and a little bit of a love affair and how that um, played out during the film was excellent. Highly recommend you check this one out. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Okay, the next one I watched, another three star and a heart, and that's a Criterion release for Imitation um, of Life. Really enjoyed this story. It does span over a certain um, period of time from this person's um, young child's life through grown up and just a really good story. Black and white, older film. I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up I watched Hands of Stone. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. <clears throat> I really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before. Um, it is based off of true events. A true story, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not a very big... Well, I do. I enjoy boxing movies. Um, this right here was really more of a personal um, story um, based off of the main character, and that's what I really liked about it. I enjoy watching films based off of true events. Okay, next up, I watched Freaks. I gave it to you stars and a heart so I liked it for what it was I was really maybe overhyped about what this was going to be uh, but I did enjoy the story it's definitely older and I can see the appreciation for it really nice criterion release so I did see freaks it also contains the unknown and the mystic which I'll talk about here shortly but I gave that two stars and a heart Next up, I watched Ghost Story. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. This right here is another older film. And it was really slow paced. Um, but after halfway through, it really got it really got a lot better, especially since you know more of what's going on. Um, but it does have a lot of older actors, as you can see there at the bottom. Um, so I enjoyed it for what it was. Okay, next up, I watched Z. I gave this one and a half stars. I did not like it. Didn't really enjoy this one at all. Um, it was an okay story. It had some good things about it, but I just could not get into it. It, it was very slow paced and um, very poorly acted in my opinion. Okay, next up I watched The Mystic. So I went back to my Criterion set. <clears throat> I watched The Mystic. I gave The Mystic one star. I did not care for it. Couldn't really even tell you much about it now that I think about it. Um, just one, one star. Don't even remember much about it. Then after that I watched The Unknown which I gave it two stars and can't really tell you much about it either. Just older films. Um, didn't really care much for those. Definitely like Freaks the best out of all three of the films. But it's really great to have all of these on physical media. And so I would definitely recommend you check these out for yourself. You might enjoy them. Okay, next up, I watched Ghost Ship, which I gave two stars. It had some good moments about it. It is an older, um, maybe early 2000 movie. It's got Juliana Margulies in it. Um, it's about, like it says, a ghost ship. Had some really rough looking CGI, but I guess it was pretty prime back during that day. Um, but the story was kind of lacking. 
But overall, it was, I'm glad I watched it. Um, like I said, I gave that one just two stars. I did not give it a heart. Okay, the next one I gave four stars and a heart because I love this film. It was a first time watch. That's Eastern Promises. Um, so I took time to watch this one. Great performance by Viggo Mortensen. And um, just the story overall was entertaining. It kept me um, enthralled in what was going on. It is a crime mobster type story. Um, just a really great story to follow along with. I really enjoyed it. Great performance. Okay, next up, I watched Sweet Smell of Success. This got three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before either. It's another one of those Criterion releases that I wanted to watch. It's got Burt Lancaster and Tony Curtis in it. Um, to me, Tony Curtis gave a great performance. Definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Next up, I watched The Killer. Um, I saw this one on streaming. Everybody was posting about it on Instagram, so I wanted to see what it was about. Um, very, very, very slow paced. I gave it two stars. It took a long time to get into the movie. Didn't really enjoy it. Um, it may just need another watch, but I do hope it gets a physical media release. Next up, I watched The Stranger. This right here got a two and a half star and a heart. I enjoyed this one. It is a vampire type story told a little bit differently than what you would think of and I really enjoyed the film. Um, I gave it two and a half stars out of five because it was it was mediocre but still entertaining and I really enjoyed it um, and this is one that I would definitely want to revisit. Okay, next up I watched the complete series for The Fall of the House of Usher. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. It had some really good episodes. I think there were ten I won't say there were 10 episodes. Took a couple of days to watch, but I did finish it. And um, it's one of those that I'm glad that I watched. I would definitely recommend you check it out. It had some good episodes, had a lot of jump scares in it, um, but the story overall was different every episode. Um, a little bit a different telling of what had happened. And so I would definitely recommend you check that out, especially if you like Mike Flanagan. Um, next up, I watched The Desperate Hours. This right here I gave four stars and a heart. Um, this right here is one that I had never seen before. Humphrey Bogart really loved the story. It is a home invasion movie. It played out very well. I really loved it. I can't recommend this one enough. If you have not seen this one, definitely check it out. It's got a really nice Arrow release. And then next up, I watched Sympathy for the Devil. This right here got two and a half stars. I did not care for it. It's probably one of those that needs another watch. It's got Nicolas Cage in it. It is pretty much just these two guys on screen almost during the whole film. Some things happen. It is heavily dialogue driven. So you have to really pay attention to it. You don't want any distractions. Um, but overall, I felt a little bit disappointed in it. Um, but like I said, this is probably one of those that I just need to check out again. Next up, I watched the remake of Desperate Hours. <clears throat> really enjoyed this one. It's not as good as the original. Um, I gave this one two stars. I, I should have gave it a heart. I don't know why I didn't, but I, I liked it for what it was. It was not the original, but it had a different telling of the same story. And I would highly recommend you check it out. It's, it's a good tale, um, but not as good as the original. Next up, I watched 65. This got two stars and a heart. I liked it for what it was. Um, Adam Driver did pretty good, and the young actress in it did really good. The story was kind of lacking. It, it had a good overall story, but I wish there would have been more that would have happened during the film. More action, maybe. Maybe more involving of the dinosaurs. Um, but it was a little bit slow-paced for me. Next up, I got I watched EO. This right here is another Criterion release. Um, this one got EO got two and a half stars, and I did not give it a heart. I didn't really care much for it. It's pretty much just following along this donkey throughout the movie. Um, I don't know. I was really expecting more from this. I didn't really care for the donkey. 
Um, I think if they would have made it to where I would have cared for the donkey, maybe I would have enjoyed it more. But I really didn't care about the donkey. Next up, I watched Tucker, The Man in His Dream. It got two stars and a heart. It's another one of those based off of True Events. And this has been in the collection for a very long time. I watched it for the first time. Um, I'm not a big car person. I don't really know much about cars. I don't really care about the making of cars or the reason why people make cars. Um, so I really didn't get into the film, but I appreciate it for what it was. It looked great. It Overall, it had a great look about the film. A lot of good actors, but I didn't really care for the story. Okay, next up, I watched <clears throat> Embattled. Embattled got three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. Great story, very tough watch um, about a father and his son. A, a, a bad father, one that had really disrupted his family as they were growing up, causing a lot of hardships, and then the son wanting to be involved in the father's life and wanting to follow along in the footsteps with the MMA um, fighting. Um, really good overall performances and storyline was great, so I really enjoyed this one. I would highly recommend you check it out. Then I watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I think I watched this on Thanksgiving, like I try to every year. So just another great watch of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I can't say enough about it. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. It gets four stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Butcher's Crossing with Nicolas Cage. This is another one that I had to stream. Um, it does not have a physical media release as of yet. It got three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the story. I loved the look of the film. It is a western type film and just really enjoyed it overall. Great performances, great story. It kept me entertained. Next up, I watched Pale Rider for the first time. I, it got four stars and a heart. I really love this Clint Eastwood film. He produced, wrote, no, he produced and starred and directed this film. I believe that's the, the order. But, I don't know, it's just a really good story about this man who comes to help this group of um, settlers who are panning and mining for gold, trying to strike it rich, and what they struggle through with that town. Um, really good story. Highly recommend you check this one out. It's excellent. Next up, I watched Postmortem. Postmortem is about this only got two stars and i did not like it 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 was very slow it just seemed like it took forever to get through it is about a photographer who takes photos of dead people and some ghostly things happen but not enough to keep me entertained or to scare me or anything like that it was really long and boring to me now speaking of long and boring I also watched Vesper. This got two stars and no heart. I didn't care for this film. Um, it was very slow. Not much going on. It was really hard to follow along. I, I couldn't get caught up in it. It may be one of those that needs another watch. If you've seen it and you think it was great, please let me know because I would love to know what you thought about it. Okay, next up I watched The Naked Gun from the files of The Police Squad. I really enjoy this spoof film. Um, the still book came out, so I watched the 4K. thought it was very well done. I really enjoyed this one. Um, Airplanes is one of those that I really enjoy. This right here is another one. I enjoy the spoof. I enjoy the jokes. Um, if you know, if you just pay attention to everything that's going on, you can see all kinds of little things happening in the background that make you know that this is a spoof film. But anyway, I just loved it. If you've never seen um, this particular movie, definitely check it out. And the, the sequels are also great. So that got two and a half stars and a heart. Next up was a first time watch. And that is Lords of Dogtown. The still book came out, so I finally was able to watch this. This one right here, I gave three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this film. It was a nice surprise. Um, I enjoyed the skateboarding world and the aspect of what this film was talking about. And it was based off of true events or true people. And so I really enjoyed that. The special features were great. 
And then the last film of the month that I watched got two and a half stars and a heart, and that's River's Edge. <clears throat> it had been a long time since I had seen this film. I took the time to watch it again. Um, from my memory, I thought I enjoyed it more than what I was going to. I enjoyed it. It was a really good story. Um, I guess maybe it... I don't know. I don't know what it was about it this time around. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would after all of these years, but it was still good. I still enjoyed the performances. The story was great, and um, I don't know. I would highly recommend you check this one out also if you've never seen it. But those are all the films that I watched during the month of November. Like I said, it was a busy month. It had a lot of great things to watch. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I watched. Maybe let me know your opinions on some of the scores that I gave some of these films. Um, and maybe why I should try to revisit some of these that maybe I gave a low score to. And also let me know some of the films that you were able to watch during the month of November. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.